Hello and welcome back to Legends of the Dead. Our character continues to not be dead. In fact, we're very much alive at 78. However, we have poor health, so I'm betting that at some point in this episode, we're going to be like, well, you know, dead. So we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, there's not really a lot that we're actively doing. I think we're trying to earn money in order to be able to do a grand tournament or grand tour or something of that ilk. Um, probably don't need a forest specialist right now because we're trying to save money. Maybe we're looking for a trivial titles or extort subject, but that's in like a year for the extort subject. Okay, so kind of just chill for a year. I think that's our, our plan. It's not, you know, particularly the most... Um, intensive plan we've ever had, but I think it'll work. Our only other option is expands, but I'm kind of giving the AI a chance to recover. I think that that would be good for us. We'll see. Anyway, we've discovered our new siege weapons. Aha, fantastic. Well, that's something that's good. It says our counselor died, but I think that's our ex-counselor died. We should probably actually talking about, oh, never mind. It was our uh, religious guy who died. <laughs> yep. Immediately able to spot that. Also, we now have a powerful vassal on the religious one. Fantastic. Um, got completely distracted. Yeah, something that we will have to do, actually, is we'll need to sort our courtiers at some point today. But uh, we'll think about that uh, when we uh, get to it. Right. Uh, we have lost wounded. However, we're still infirm and blind, which is still leaving our health at poor. We're probably going to drop dead. Cool. Uh, here, how much does it cost us to switch these over? So, if I, well, I can actually check in here. How much are the new ones? The new ones are 59 apiece. We'll want to buy seven of them. So we're looking at 350 gold-ish. Um, plus or minus, like, 56. 56? 63. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's fine. We can wait for that. Oh, yes, new cultural fascination. That's actually a great point. Also, thank you for the 50 gold. Cultural fascination. We are looking for battlements next. This is 100% the one that we want because we want to be able to upgrade these buildings here to the next level. It's going to be a major amount of money sink here, but it's going to be very good. Uh, it's going to give us extra levies, it's going to give us extra taxes, and it's going to give us access to the next level buildings uh, underneath it as well. I think this one might require battlements. Now this one requires, you have to have the keep building, so yeah, we need to have the battlements first anyway. We have to have the Burr's Innovation, because this is a military building. Ah, okay, yeah. That's it. So we need this one, this one, and, uh, is it horse? Well, it can't be horseshoes. Where's the economic building one? So this is fortification. Oh, is it, is this economic? There we go. And and this one. So we need these three to be able to do uh, all the buildings. Uh, I think we do actually have some fortification buildings. Yeah, like Earth Ramparts, I think, are fortification. So these will probably be... Yes, yeah, so these are keep and battlements. So there are things we can upgrade that are purely fortification. But, yeah. Uh, well, we basically just uh, need to do all of them at some point. So that's fine. Our court grandeur level went up. That's good. However... Um, we now have a friend at our deathbed. As I lay upon my bed, prostrated by my sickness and cursing my weak, frail, uh, failing body, I can barely make out the human figure approaching. Their slow steps and heavy silence are starting to scare me. They must guess my unease from the faint sounds leaving my mouth and the jerky movements of my hands, for their steps turn hurried and soon a warm hand is holding my own and a familiar face enters my field of view. Hush, Kraka. It's just me, Driffa. Oh, how it pains me to see you like this. I wish I could do something, anything, to ease your discomfort. This is our daughter, but not our player heir. We can say stay with us, and that gives us a medium health boost. Yeah, we'll take the health boost. We're okay. We'll, 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 we'll take it. It doesn't really change very much in terms of our overall health, but that's fine. Uh, we need to convert something. Let's convert this new piece of land all the way over there. Wonderful. Right. Just chill a little bit. Try and earn a little bit more money. Our sister just died. Okay, we're getting a lot of deaths here. Challenge to a board game. I will decline this. That seems like something we do not need to do. 
Okay. Oh, in here. A guardian for our grand uh, granddaughter Zig or Zigni. She is a genius and she's alive. That's incredible. Do we have any other geniuses who can educate? Uh, we do. I'm going to get you to educate. There we go. That's fine. Uh, Marshall is fine. Awesome. Although, although Marshall is fine, can she do stewardship? No, she can do intrigue. Now I'll take Marshall then. Okay, cool. Carrying on. I'm not going to read your poetry. We are going to take the stress loss and be happy with it though. Uh, what's this? Challenge to a board game. I decline. I do not wish to do board games. You can pardon our vassal for being a kinslayer. Okay, what did you do? I mean, why do I care? You murdered somebody. That's fine. I pardon you. You are pardoned. We're, we're not in the business of revoking titles at the moment. This is all fine. Uh, we almost have enough money. Is this something we need to care about? No. We almost have enough money to uh, get the next level of the men-at-arms that we're looking for. We just need about another... What? Another 50 gold, maybe, to be secure? That seems good. Hey, you've converted a piece of land. Was something up here maybe we converted? I can't remember which one. Ah, no, it's Halsing land. Yeah, let's do Yamat land next on the same logic. I believe the logic that we had previously is that Helgum has a surprisingly high development. So it's probably increasing the development of the nearby provinces. So, seems like a good idea. Uh, your neighbor has won against somebody in a holy war. That's fine. Don't need to worry too much about that. And I'll let this go one more and then we'll get our new uh, men at arms. A servant of Freya. As I open my eyes in the dark, and I am immediately overwhelmed by an ominous feeling. Is someone watching me? Are you ready to embrace the truth, Kraka? I sit up, suddenly un completely awake. I look around for the source of the unfamiliar man's voice, but there are only shadows. Freya offers you her blessing. Will you accept it? We can be a witch, which is virtuous, or be gone. I will be a witch. Fantastic. We have now got something which is virtuous, which is good. Courtiers are gaining traits. You can start a legend. Well, just another one, just for fun. I don't think we need to do that right now. Our grandson can marry. Does that mean he's back? He is. He went to the Byzantines. He's come back. He's a Varangian. Um, that seems good. Let's see if we can marry him off to a genius. There we go. Gundas. You seem like a good choice. You seem like a very good choice, actually. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Let's get the marriage done. Um, wait for it to go through. Wonderful. Can I invite you to court? Is an unrelated child? Yes, but she is currently just wandering in the wilderness. Not, not a problem. Okay. Well, that's fine. Wonderful. Right. Um, you converted from Norse to Pechenik. So where's that? Oh, that's down there. Okay, so that's probably the local culture. Yeah, it could be. Could be. Definitely. Alright. Wonderful. It's all fine. In about seven months we can... It's not seven months. In nine months we can potentially start getting some money off of our vassals. We have... And Jadetus here, who is another genius uh, grandchild of ours. Wonderful. It's all fine. Now we're going to get rid of all of these. We're just going to immediately destroy them. Yep. And we're going to buy these things, which are just the same, but a little bit better. Wonderful. And that left us with 83 gold afterwards, which is absolutely fine. We're not going to make as much in the short term because we're also going to have to reinforce our men at arms. But this should make our wars a lot easier to do because it will mean that our sieges will be a lot quicker. These all increase uh, sieging by 0 0.01 so we'll do it in Luka. Cool. Wonderful. That seemed pretty good. Is that more, more of a disease? Uh, yes, there's more disease up here. It's more, more of our boils, apparently, up there. 
Scandalous priest, I will condemn you. I think we condemned her previously. She's he said she is currently a sinner. Okay. Well, I'll continue to uh, condemn you. Seems fine. Right. Carrying on. What's this? Grand tournament? Yeah, that's just saying that we have money for it now, but we're not really looking to do that just yet. Demand artifact. What do you want? You want pause pelt. Well, just out of principle, no. Seems fine. Right, carrying on. What's this one? Recruits forest specialist. Yeah, we don't need to do that right now because we're trying to save money. Uh, that bit of land that we were converting has already been converted, which is why the Tengri populists are gone, because that was the last piece of Tengri land that we had. Let's convert this one. Awesome. We should also have a look at our, va our direct vassals and see if we can convert them as well. Studying the dead. Uh, my lady, this is outrageous. They keep digging up bodies. We say... Um, slander, I think? Yes, yeah, slander. I defended that guy's honor. A traitor uncovered. One of my guards approaches with my niece-in-law, Sechek, in chains, trailing behind him. I caught... Sechek here in the process of sending information to foreign f spies in Pomerania. What should we do with her? Uh, we'll gain a strong hook, I think. Yeah, I think that seems good. Can I use this strong hook to demand that you convert? I can indeed. Wonderful. Merging of cultural identities. Let's not do that. Right. Carrying on. Court gran uh, grandeur is still at level 8, which is nice. Are we getting a big bonus for being at level 8? Uh, I'd hope so. Nope, we're getting kind of a uh, boring bonus. Well, that's fine. We're not that far above, I guess. Right, continue saving up our money. We've got another five months or so till we can get some more money. Um, there was a subjugation war. Not a huge deal for us currently, but that's all right. Wonderful. You have 60 gold for me. Thank you very much for your 60 gold. Much appreciated. That's going to make um, gaining money a little bit easier. Right. Um, I might do courtiers once we uh, do the asking for money thing. Once we do that, we'll have money. We can do whatever we need to do at that point. How's the disease looking? Yeah, it's kind of spreading all over the place. That's fine. Not too worried. I'm immune now. As will most people in our court be immune. Legendary Palace is now finished in Pushkin, which now means we're getting another 10% holding taxes on every holding in our capital, which I think is pretty nice. Although major epidemic pre uh, prevention is currently lowering that by 20, still an extra 10 is nice. Wonderful. Uh, extort subjects was what I was looking for. I'll gain stress for doing it. Uh, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my concubine here a gift, which also is beneficial for us because now they won't join plots to kill us. We're then going to restore our subjects. Um, I'm not going to lower the control in Osel by 100. And get county extorted for minus 50 popular opinion. Well, popular opinions are votes. I don't think that matters. Let's, let's, get the, let's get the money. Yeah, I think that we're still fine on that vote. Uh, it wouldn't be the main, main vote won't matter, but the Kingdom of Estonia vote would matter. She is currently getting 100% of the vote. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter that we lost 50. Um, she has 100. Although, actually, I don't think negatives actually give you a negative to your vote. So, um... Oh, and the popular, popular opinion. I was going to say negatives don't give you a negative to your vote, but actually, um... Yeah, our popular opinion is 139. That's incredible. Why is it so high? Oh, a mighty endeavor for Oster twice. Oh. Oh, that stacks. Of course it does, because these are different legends. Oh. Oh, I see. That's, um, that's a little bit insane, huh? Okay. Okay, just a little bit insane. Um, cool. Let's have a look at our courtiers. Uh, see, let's do direct vassals, not our religion first, because it's a very easy thing to do. Just ask each to convert. They're all part of the old faith. Uh, I'm going to send you a little gift here. 
then ask you to convert. But yo, that's fine. And then this person, 100%. So two 100, one 47. Let's see. One. That's the uh, risky one. He, he also said yes. That's two. Three. Wonderful. We now have nobody who is a direct vassal who is not a religion. Uh, do you want to do vassals? Let's do vassals. So these are all the vassals who are not my religion. Let's just see if anyone will convert. If anyone's not a hundred, we don't ask them. The reason we're not asking anyone who's not a hundred is because um, we will let their liege handle it. But if we've got any that are easy to convert, like this one, we'll just do it now just so that they're, they're converted over. Uh, which I think will help a little bit. I think 91 is close enough to a, to 100. I think that's fine. Uh, wait, were you the person I just asked? No, 72. No, well, you were the person I just asked. Dose, Bjorn. Uh, where are we? Bjorn, you. Uh, then the next one. There's another 100%. Love to see it. Another 100%. This one. Another 100%. Now, this guy. 94 is also good enough. Uh, this one. 83, I think, is on the edge of being good enough. 69. This one. 30. And... 100. Wonderful. So we'll just get all of these pop-ups done first. So just a bunch of uh, conversions just to... Um, Basically, just to move things along for our vassals. So, there aren't that many that aren't our religion, and no direct vassals who aren't our religion, which is kind of, you know, that, that's pretty much what you want. Right. Uh, next thing. I guess we'll do all vassals who are not my religion. I, yeah, let's do not my religion first. Oh, who are uh, not Ukunusko. There you go. I saw a few. I thought there would be more, but this is fine. Right. Uh, demand conversion. Demand conversion. And demand conversion. Wonderful. One said no. The other three said yes. That's okay. I'm not too worried about that. I just wanted to convert anyone who I could. Back to the courtiers one. Um, now we're looking for anyone who is unmarried. I should probably just make this a filter. So let's just save that there. Let's go um, unmarried courtiers. There we go. Now we're going to give us uh, the same list, which I think is useful to have. So, Drifa. Um, if you're marrying, you're marrying for stats. Let's do this by age. Yeah, let's do it like this. And we'll sort out the people who were marrying for traits first. So, you are beautiful. We need to get you married to... Interesting, there is a genius available. Um, which is good. But we're looking for inheritable traits. Ideally, we're kind of looking for beautiful if we can get it. Um, yes, so we're looking for this guy. Sarak. He's only marrying for the trait, but I think that's going to be good. It's going to guarantee that beautiful gets passed on to children. We're going to end up with a lot of beautiful people in our court. Cool. That one's fine. Here is uh, betrothed. That's fine. He's our concubine. Olaf. Now, Olaf does not have any inheritable traits. So we're kind of just looking for anyone here. Uh, I guess Signy could be fine. Signy's beautiful. Uh, she's from House Oster. Can I just invite her to my court? I can just invite her to my court. Okay. Northman army attacking. Okay, well. That's fine. Uh, don't want development growth in Novgorod. Yeah, I think so. Let's do this one. I failed. Oh, oh well. I went for the risky one there because higher uh, bonus, basically. Uh, I think I might just marry her to uh, Olaf. Even though I could marry her to someone else as well. I don't think she'd be good enough to be in our court without that. But by doing this, uh, we're, we're keeping 
the Oster dynasty larger. So I think that seems good. Right. Seems fine. Uh, maybe my logic is a little faulty, but whatever. Guest. Now we have this person, a champion. You're not marrying. You. Uh, you could marry. Let's see who we've got. We have Ruth. I don't think we need to invite Ruth. I mean, we could invite her for the exact same reason we invited the other person, but I just realized we're going to be filling up our court with lots of people we don't really need in our court. Uh, like, all of these people can go out across the world and uh, seek their fortunes not in our court. What do you mean you can marry this person? Well, you've got a former spouse, you're pregnant, and you have measles. He must have divorced you, that's my guess. Uh, for how that situation ended up happening. Um, yeah, where were we? Guess maybe San Sancha? How about you marry Sancha? Seems okay. Right. Cool. Next, we have... Where are we? Ingbjorg. Ah. Ingbjorg is now part of the too old to have children list. So, we're marrying purely for the spouse's stats. Here we go, prowess. Yeah, this guy looks good. Herculean forest fighter. Yeah. Why are you married to that person? Right, also very large. Uh, next, we have a guest. We have this guy, who does not seem to be very good in the slightest. Um, You know what? He doesn't have a job in our court. Let's marry him off uh, to somebody else outside our corpse. We're looking for somebody who... Yeah, we're looking for a matrilineal one to somebody outside our court. How about Shurnagov? Yeah, you can marry her. That seems fine. And then Driffa. Driffa, again, we're marrying purely for stats. So we're going to go Inheritable. We're going to go High Prowess. This guy doesn't really like us. Is he zealous? Uh, let's maybe go for our friend. Yeah, our friend seems good. Yeah, let's get him into our court. Wonderful. Right, let's let these go forward. I'm still waiting for the Northman Army event before we raise our troops. Here, uh, we've actually finished everything on Avarice. Administrator's not really worth doing, so I guess we're working for Architect. Let's do that. Challenge to board game. I decline. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. Gold is lifeblood of the realm, and merchants bring much of that wealth. Empress, crackers, boils still spread across the same realm, however. And Rolfer has brought me missives from trade-rich coastal provinces. We can control this outbreak, my lady, Rolfer says, with what feels like bluff confidence. Crying all merchants sequester themselves before they bring their goods to markets will ensure they aren't infected. Uh, every coastal province gets minus 15 holding taxes, or they don't. I'm going to go for they don't. That seems good to me. Uh, we'll banish them the way that we have always banished them. Cool. Uh, well, we're going to assume that they're going to appear here. So let's set up a rally point on our capital and raise our troops. Uh, let's see. Can we find out where you are? Yeah, so they're currently in Denmark. Again. Is that because Denmark is... Nope. I was going to say it's the last holdout of, uh, like, Norse or something. Nope. But it does appear like every single Northman army appears from Denmark. Where, where, where's your, uh... Yeah. You went here? You went all the way over there? Okay, well... Uh, stop raising troops and start going to uh, all the way over there. Uh, Girly Oster, my player heir, became my rival for no particular reason. Uh, witchery and salvation. Uh, why do I care if somebody is a witch? It would be my answer here. This event makes no sense in our religion. We've had it several times. But it makes no sense in our religion because if we have a look at our faith, 
you will see that witchcraft is virtuous, so why are we mad at someone being a witch? It doesn't make any sense. Um, so you're my court chronicler and court musician. Uh, I could imprison them and immediately just let them go. Yeah. You're no longer my court musician. Okay. I will now release you for free. Although I could banish you for 300 gold. But let's release you for free. That's fine. Right. Uh, we need a new court chronicler. Uh, which will be that guy. I guess we're no longer paying him to be our musician, which is kind of cool. But beyond that, it doesn't really matter. These two can marry. Seems awesome. Right, we're now going to ask you to convert. I'm now going to send you a gift. Then I'm going to ask you to convert. It's 83%. They did indeed convert. Wonderful. And they lost Bastard and gained Wild Oat because the Bastard trait doesn't apply in our religion. Fantastic. Um, that seems pretty good there. Her stats are good. His stats are good. That seems like a good air for us after, um, well, once we become girly, potentially. You know what I should do? Oh, I should just mark him here uh, as potential next air. Medicinal jar. Do I want the jar? Not really. Um, I can say, surely I'm the one to be protected. The jar saves lives. Give it to me. Or if you say so, carry on. Increases the aptitude of your court physician. Sure. That seems good. Right. Anything in here? You're losing minus 20 for some reason. Oh, raised armies, of course. Right. Completely forgot I was here. I was like, the moment I sent the troops over here, I was like, the war is over. No need to worry about anything else. Um, forgot that we actually have to, like, have the battle and win the war. But anyway. Ivar needs to marry. Ivar? Um, oh, we've got somebody down here who would be fine. We've got someone who's intelligent. That means that we can potentially create more geniuses. Although, you know what we should do? We should probably look for a genius. Too old. Alright, well, we'll go 16-year-old intelligent. Seems fantastic. Same age. Works perfectly for me. Right. And uh, faction targeting us is disbanded. That's good. And we've now wiped out that army. New cadet branch created in Vladimir. Another 400 gold for us. Uh, neighbor lost against uh, us in a war for uh, Silesia. So over here. So we've expanded even further in this way. Of course we have. Enforce our demands. Wonderful. Anyone in our prison? Nope, we gained legitimacy for that. Great, disband our troops. We're now making six a month. Uh, we lost a bunch of money somewhere, although that must be our unraised men at arms. Uh, yeah, maintenance. If we wait a couple of months, it should go back to normal then. Uh, neighboring ruler won against our vassal, which is good. Awesome. Right. Uh, we can change this vassal's contract. Let's go there. Let's go for a hook. Wonderful. So we're now making even more money. Just waiting a second for everything to uh, even out here. So this is now a fully reinforced uh, men at arms group there. Yeah, we have lost like a bonus from somewhere in terms of our money, but that's okay. Also, wait a second. Did that remove my uh, piece negative that I had? Uh, yes, fantastic. The Northman army attacking us removed the uh, piece negative. That is great. That's something to remember, actually. The Northman armies not only give us a pile of money, but also remove the at peace negative if we happen to be sitting at peace for a while. Great. Uh, I'm going to do uh, sell trivial titles. 500 prestige for 500 gold. Wonderful. Anything happen off of that? It has come to my attention that you are selling off titles, even though I myself have been inadequately honoured for my service. Indeed, considering my achievements on your behalf, a few new titles would not go amiss. Why do you hate me? Refusal to uh, do board games. I see. So and say, so it shall be then. I spend 75 prestige. She gains uh, opinion of me, level of fame and respected by peers, or do not aggrandize yourself. Sure, why not? You can gain all that stuff. That's fine. I don't care. 
Cost us 75 prestige. Not really that big a deal. Um, well, a neighbor has lost against um, your duke. So, my vassal in the war holy war for the kingdom of Galicia Volnia. Which is this bit la uh, land here. So, they're expanding even more. You hate... Wait. That, that's a neighboring ruler hates us. Okay. For a second there, I thought the person who had just taken the land hated us. No, no, that's fine. We could create the um, uh, we could create the uh, kingdom, and then we could potentially uh, put it under Scandinavian elective. But I'm not that worried about it. We have a nice pile of money though, uh, which we can potentially spend. Although we are going to spend that next time. Thank you for watching. I know we've had a few episodes in the row which have been on the shorter side of our new longer side episode thing, but um, just the way that things are working out for me right now. But We'll see what we can do in the future. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.